here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram where I also talk about perfume. Today, I'm very excited to be sharing with you my favorite amber fragrances. So this was a viewer request. Thank you so much for your request. I really appreciate it. I love hearing from you guys. And amber is definitely one of my favorite notes slash accords. It's actually what's considered a fantasy note. So amber is a stone that does not have a smell, but perfumers envision what amber might smell like if it did have a smell. So it usually involves resins such as benzoin, labdanum, olibanum, and other resins. I love amber fragrances. I have done videos in the past on my favorite amber fragrances, but I think it's a great time for an update because I've discovered some new ones. So I've got quite a few here that I've pulled out for you today and I'm excited to hop into it. The first one is Jo Malone Midnight Musk and Amber. So this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's got the musk and the amber. It's got that beautiful Jo Malone kind of classy, classy elegance that I love. Um, this one has okay lasting power. I do have issues with longevity with many Jo Malone fragrances, but this one actually has pretty good longevity for me. So it's really beautiful and classy. I just occasionally I will see a Jo Malone fragrance on fragrancenet.com, a very good discount, and I will usually snatch it up because I really like the fragrances. So this is one of the ones that I found on a good discount on fragrancenet and I really enjoy it. So this is the first one. Next, this is E001 from the House of Beale, which is a German niche house. So I have three Beale fragrances in my collection and they all have a very beautiful ambery quality, including this one. This was the first one I got and I really love it. It's, it's ambery, spicy, it's warm, it's totally gender neutral and it's just so, so classy and gorgeous. So I have a lot of crossover. Nobody really needs this many amber fragrances in their collection because there's a lot of similarity between these fragrances. So it's overboard. I have a very big passion for perfumes and I also have my YouTube channel. So, so I'm not really trying to characterize this as a normal perfume collection by any means, but Beale is a very good house and I've been very impressed with their perfumes. I found them on pretty good discounts on FragranceNet and FragranceBuy.ca. And I really love this E001. It's a gorgeous amber fragrance. Next from the Spanish house of Loewe, this one is called Aura. This was a tester I bought on FragranceNet. It's a very gorgeous fragrance, beautiful gender neutral fragrance. This one has a slight vintage vibe, which is something I found with a lot of different amber fragrances is they tend to smell a little vintage depending on the composition. But when you put white florals together with amber resins, they tend to give a very vintagey vibe. So I really do enjoy this one. The bottle is really cool. I wish I would have gotten a cap with it because it's got like this little leather label on it so it's really pretty but i got the tester without the cap anyway it's a gorgeous fragrance smells super good and gender neutral just classy gorgeous this one is called j'ai fait un rêve obscure and it's from the house of majda bakali and this one is fairly new to me i love this one these were on discount on fragrancenet.com for a while a couple of them and i got this one and i got the one that has the same name but instead of obscure it's claire for clear it's so pretty and just deep, rich, classy, and ooh, this one is definitely more deep and rich. Oh, this one is a stunner. I just, I can't get enough of this. One. <laughs> it's so like, it's just an intoxicating, intoxicating fragrance. It's gender neutral. It's the bottle. I love the bottle. I think it's stunning and it's so spicy and ambery and resinous and ugh, this is a stunner. Love it. And um, I'm very interested in Majda Bakali now. I didn't really know anything about the house until I saw these on FragranceNet and kind of took the plunge. So j'ai fait un rêve obscure. Here is a beautiful celebrity fragrance called Boyfriend from Kate Walsh. And this one you can get on the website for Kate Walsh Boyfriend or I believe you can get it on QVC. It's a very pretty amber spicy with a slight chocolate vibe. Very, very gorgeous. Also very gender neutral, fun and great for this time of year. So I really love this one and I really enjoy this Kate Walsh boyfriend. It's very beautiful and interesting and that chocolate just gives it that extra delicious warm element that I really enjoy. Here's one from the House of Mugler. This is Miroir de Majesté and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous 
Mm. So this one is a little bit lighter and a little bit more, it's still kind of deep and rich, but it's got this slight brightness about it. I think it's still got that kind of Mugler house DNA. I love Mugler perfumes. They have so many good ones. And this one, this one does pop up on the gray market sites like Fragrance Net, Fragrance X, and Fragrance Buy. So I do see this one still popping up occasionally. It's just a really beautiful fragrance, perfect for fall and winter, gender neutral, gorgeous bottle. It comes with a mirrored box. It's beautiful. From Hermes, this is L'Ombre de Merveille. This is the calligraphy version. So it comes in this beautiful kind of calligraphy bottle. And I did a whole video on this one. I love this one. It's just this whole Eau de Merveille line from Hermes is stunning. And the Ombre version is my favorite probably. They have an elixir version that's gorgeous too. Their Bleu version is a beautiful kind of aquatic fragrance. And this one is fabulous. It's got this kind of sweet spiciness about it. It's just so beautiful and spicy and fabulous. I love the Eau de Merveille line from Hermes and my favorite would be L'Ombre de Merveille. From the House of 4162 Tuesdays, this one is called Shazam and I love Shazam. It's a beautiful amber spicy fragrance. It's fun. It's unique. I love the House of 4162 Tuesdays. They're a British niche house. They've got some really interesting and unique fragrances. This one's got some serious resins going on. It's got a lot of wood. It's beautiful and gender neutral and fabulous, just like all the 4162 Tuesdays fragrances. And I just love this one. Shazam is my favorite from 4162 Tuesdays. It's fabulous. This is Ellie Saab Essence Number no. 3 Ombre. This is one I've talked about in several videos. I've had this one for a long time. This has been my favorite amber fragrance for a very long time. I can't honestly say it still is, but I still really love it. I love this whole Ellie Saab Essence line. Francis Kirkshan is the nose behind this line and they're amazing. I've also got the Sandalwood, which is called Santal. I've got the Oud, I've got the Rose, and I've got a couple travel sprays. So this is a fabulous amber fragrance. It's the thing I love about the Elisab Essence line is they're all a little bit minimalistic, like they don't use a ton of notes, but they're so gorgeous and elegant and gender neutral. And they do pop up on the gray market sites, which is of course where I got mine. And I don't think there are any stinkers in the bunch. This one is gorgeous. I've got a couple Shalimars here. So this is Shalimar Vanilla Millesime Planifolia. This is one of the newest flankers. It's got a huge dose of vanilla. So Shalimar is a very old, gorgeous fragrance from the House of Guerlain. It's been around for many years, many decades, and they have a lot of flankers. So this is a newer one that has, like I said, a lot of vanilla in it, but it's still got that beautiful vintage, ambery Shalimar original DNA. So it's gorgeous. It's a little bit hard to find right now, but I think this is a fabulous flanker for Shalimar, which is just a fabulous classic vintage fragrance. The other one I have, this is Shalimar Filtre, which is just a couple years old. I've got this partial bottle I bought on Mercari. I love this one too. It's just, it's a slightly lighter, brighter version. Very pretty, very classy. It still has the Shalimar DNA and I love these bottles. I think they're just pure elegance and class. I think the Shalimar line is popular for a good reason. It's been around forever and it's beautiful. So I haven't been doing any order to these fragrances, but I did save my favorite for last. And that's from the house of Francesca Bianchi. And this is Sticky Fingers. And I've talked about this in a lot of videos. It's a beautiful, slightly vintage smelling amber with a dose of patchouli to make it smell so, so incredible. And Francesca Bianchi describes this one as rocker chic. And I love that description. I think it really fits. I just think this is so incredible. It just brings me back to the 80s but it's not like, it doesn't smell old or dated to me. It's like a slightly modernized, beautiful version of an 80s powerhouse fragrance. So I love this one. My favorite amber currently and one of my favorite all time perfumes actually. So would love to hear about your favorite amber perfumes down in the comments. Let me know what you are loving and thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.